Hello, my friends. Now, if you watch some of my videos, you know that I'm all about long-term investing. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about a very volatile stock, which has gotten a lot of criticism from both retail and institutional investors. And yes, that's going to be Virgin Galactic, the only company that with only $250,000 will fly you out to space and back down. So I will be covering a few things on this video, just a brief history of Virgin Galactic. I will also be discussing why I'm so excited about this company and why it's going to be the very first company in its industry to make space tourism a reality. And also if it's a stock to buy right now. So let's get on started right after you smash that like button into Stardust and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So if you are already familiar with this company and this stock, I will recommend skipping on ahead and I will also provide you with timestamps down in the description below. So Virgin Galactic was founded by entrepreneur Richard Branson. Now, besides sending you to suborbital space and back, Virgin Galactic has also made a partnership with NASA to build high-speed point-to-point travel that can completely disrupt the airline industry. This will be an aircraft that could fly at three times the speed of sound from point to point, meaning that you could fly from San Francisco to London in only 90 minutes. How crazy is that? Only 90 minutes. Well, that's exactly what they plan on doing. And that, my friends, is disruptive. Now, to get a little bit into this stock, space has been the only company that's been positive in 2020, despite everything else going on. While other companies are down 40, 80%, or even have gone bankrupt, space has been completely positive for the year, right next to Tesla, of course. And if you haven't checked out my Tesla video and how to properly view their stock, I will link that in the description below and also in this video. Now, moving on. Now, as an investor, there are a few categories that I like to look into a company before investing. Some of the things that I like to ask myself is, are they innovative? Are they disruptive? What's going to be their future revenue? What does competition look like? And how they've handled past problems in the past. I really like to look into these categories because if the company that you are investing in is not disruptive, then it will become disrupted eventually. We all know what happened with Blockbuster and Netflix. Now everything must go in every Blockbuster store in the city of Grand Rapids. The company filed for bankruptcy six months ago and now it's closing up shop in the city. You either adapt to change or you live to go bankrupt or die because change is the only constant. History will always repeat itself over and over again. So you have to make sure that the companies that you're investing are actually building the future. Another thing that you have to look into is their management team and how they've gone about solving past problems. Because if they're not able to solve the most complex problems, then you're better off putting your money somewhere else. And we also have to look at their future revenue projections because after all, if a company is not able to make money, then there's no company at all. Lastly, competition. We need to look at how a company is able to withstand competition because that company that we put our money in needs to have a long-term outlook. And once again, we are investing in the long-term. So are we able to include Virgin Galactic in those categories? Well, let's take a look. Now, please. Now, before we answer those questions, I really just wanted to remind you guys that if you want two free stocks, you can get them by signing up in the link that I have down in my description. Rebull is gonna be giving you two free stocks if you sign up using my link, and each stock could be worth up to $1,400. So there you have it, guys. Now let's go back to the video. Now, space travel, high-speed, point-to-point travel that's faster than the speed of sound is a disruption of epic proportions. Virgin Galactic is a very innovative company that plans on providing very cheap space travel, which is a really great task and I also feel like it's very important to have. Now, in terms of being to solve any past issues they've had, in case you didn't know, Virgin Galactic had a crash back in 2014, killing one of the two people on board and they also halted operations for two years. But in 2018, Virgin Galactic came back stronger than ever and they were able to reach suborbital space travel for the very first time. 
check that out. We can see Mexico. Yep. So we can see how Virgin Galactic was able to solve that problem by coming back stronger and actually moving forward from their past failures. Now, in terms of future revenue, at the making of this video, Virgin Galactic has about 8,000 prepaid customers, each flight costing at around $250,000, which comes out at $2 billion in revenue. Now, of course, majority of the people are not going to be able to afford that hefty price. So they do have plans to bring that cost down. The more demand there is for space flights and also the more spaceships they're able to build. So we already know that Virgin Galactic has a projection of already $2 billion in revenue from 8,000 prepaid customers. $2 billion is not bad. Now in terms of a competition, if you are familiar with space travel and who is already involved in space, then you know that Virgin Galactic does have some great competition. You know, sorry Jeff, not you. It's SpaceX and Elon Musk, which is only going to make space tourism more mainstream and there will be more demand for space travel. But we have to keep in mind that Virgin Galactic is the leader in an emerging category and they're the only publicly listed company. Now, in conclusion, Virgin Galactic does have a great management team with a founder that has an amazing track record. They also have disruptive technology, great partnerships with NASA and Boeing, which includes point-to-point -point travel, their very first company in an emerging category, and a great business model. So this is why I am super excited to hold this stock for a very, very long time because of how disruptive this company can really be in a category that's just starting to come out into the world. I have in dollar cost averaging as I always do while keeping a long-term focus on this great company. But as always guys, I really want you to do your own research on this company and do your own due diligence because I want you to invest smart and safe and look for what makes you excited. For me, I love space travel and the thought of just going to space someday makes me incredibly psyched. So again, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and subscribe and let me know what your thoughts are on Virgin Galactic. Is this a stock that you plan on investing in? Have you already invested in Virgin Galactic? Let me know your thoughts down below. Until next time. Bye.